Hey, it's Queen Smile here, and today I am going to do a duct tape tutorial on how to make a luggage tag like that. So, what you'll need is either a template of a luggage tag, or you can cut one out. But you will be using this for the luggage tag, so make sure you cut out more than one. Now, next you will need is one kind of duct tape. Now today I am using the candy cane. For some reason I have like fallen in love with this for the past couple days. You will also need a hole punch, scissors, another utensil. You need at least scissors, or and you can also use this too. But you definitely need scissors. Um, you will need a keychain lanyard like that. Oh, sorry about the lighting; it's horrible. One second. Pop it on. Okay. Didn't really help at all, but it's okay. And you will also need whatever, like, well, you don't have to have it, but, like, embellishments like googly eyes or stuff like that. So, yeah. So let's get started. Now, first, you're going to use your template or your piece of paper, and you will cut out a strip of duct tape or sheet, whatever, depending on how big it is, that your your piece of paper will fit on. I'm going to do that right now. There. Sorry. Still lighting is horrible right now. I'm going to make it make sure it's bigger than it. And so right now it looks like it looks like that. So you're gonna stick it on with the sticky side facing it. So yeah. And next what you're going to do is make sure you save the pieces, but you are going to cut off all the extra duct tape. And make sure you save the pieces because you will be using them later on. Next up. <laughs> if it's just like this how is barely a little you don't need to say that because there's no use of saving it because you can't do anything with it What you're going to do from the piece, that it should look like that, and lay the piece from the bottom part right there, you're going to take the white part and you're going to overlap your bottom piece about a quarter of an inch, and then you're going to fold it over. So it'll be like, so it'll look like that. And then you can cut off the extra. And next what you will need, you will have to make a strip that fits from there to there. Make it a little bit bigger. Now what you're, you're going to cut that in half. doesn't matter if it's even or not. Okay. Now what you're going to do is take it and make sure you like right right on the edge right there. So as it's hard to fix if you don't. Right on there and then you can fold it over to the other side. that and you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now 
I just to let you know, this is my original idea. So I just want to make sure, I'm sure other people have made these, but I just want to make sure I ha didn't use any tutorials. So I don't want anyone to think like I took their idea. Because I didn't. <laughs> anyway, so next what you're going to do is you're going to cut a strip longer than that. It doesn't have to be much longer, but then you are going to set it right at the, a little bit more than the edge, so it looks like that, and as you see, and then you will fold it over like that, so, and it should look like that, and now this is where the scissors come in handy, you can see barely, where the thickness is um, from where the paper is and you're going to take the scissors and use that sort of as a guideline so yeah and then just trim it off stuff so yeah It. And then what you can do, you're going to take your hole punch. You can use like different patterns, like this is the star, but since I will be sawing this, I will be using a circle one. And you're just going to sort of put it in the middle and punch a hole. Okay, so now that you've got your hole punched, you're going to take your lanyard, your thing, or whatever, and or you could use, you could use string, but I think these hold up better than string because string could always fall off somehow or un get untied. These still could fall, but it's less likely. And so yeah, and then what you can do you could add like sparkles or you could put your name on it. And right here, put your name or address and all of your contact information. And yeah. And like you could put flat back gems on this or googly eyes or really anything. Or ribbon. If you wanted to do like a cute bow, you could put it right there. Like that. But it doesn't really fit. So anyway, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and give me a thumbs up. Bye bye.